But with our robots, we are trying to take some cues from nature. Hi, I'm Navinder. I'm one of the scientists here at CSIRO working with these insect-like hexapod robots. This hexapod robot has six legs, which can be used in different ways, taking on different walking patterns or what us scientists like to call gates. These robots come programmed with three different gates, which are based on how living things walk. These include the caterpillars, lizards, and cockroaches. The caterpillar or ripple gate only lifts one leg off the ground at a time, which means it's the most low and stable of the gates, while the cockroach or tripod is at the other extreme, being very quick while having three legs off the ground at once, but not being as stable on slippery ground. The lizard or amble gate is a happy medium. It's able to move faster than the ripple while being more stable than the tripod. These robots are fitted with 18 servo motors, three on each leg. Servo motors we use are a type of motor that allows us to control its movement and provides us sensory feedback. This means with the help of the software we've developed, the servo motors can help feed information back from the robot about the terrain it's walking over and if there are any obstacles in the way. We are hoping the feedback from each of the robots will be able to determine the type of terrain it's walking on. Then, each robot could change their behavior and gait as it encounters new terrain to help them be more effective. Unlike some other high-tech robots that uses images to analyze the type of terrain they're walking on, the hexapod uses its legs. It tests the ground by using tactile or touch feedback from the servo motors to tell the difference between things like concrete, grass, pebbles and sand. And instead of using GPS, we are working on the hexapod to be able to keep track of its strides to get from A to B. Using more basic mechanics and modeling our robots around nature means that in the future, these robots could work independently. In the future, this hexapod could be used in difficult terrain, dangerous operations, and even future space missions. Sky's the limit.